We will start out by talking about how the landscape of lawyering is changing, what it will mean for us as lawyers, and how you can use negotiation skills to gain an edge in the future. We will talk about how wrong assumptions about negotiations are severely limiting what we can achieve in our negotiation outcomes. And we will then jump right into interest-based negotiation after the Harvard negotiation concept and what elements make it different from the traditional bargaining that we all often do and know. I will show you how to focus on people's interests and I will give you many practical examples of how the concepts that we're talking about can be used in your business negotiations. And then immediately after we've gone into that, you will have your first chance to negotiate a case where you represent a pharmaceutical and consumer good company trying to conclude a deal about a very special raw material. Then in the next chapter, we will turn to your very own negotiation style. Each of us has their own style and I will show you how you can find out what your style is, how you can use and improve the elements that fit your style and how to combine and mix it to make sure you achieve the best dynamics with your negotiation partner. Of course, after that, you will also again have a chance to practice adjusting your style and creating the most effective mix of behavior for any situation. And then we'll cut right to the meat of the negotiations. How do I ensure that I get the biggest piece of the pie for myself? Yes, our goal is to grow more value for everyone. But at some point, there comes all the strategic questions. Should I make the first offer? And how high should I go? What is my power in this negotiation? How do I get the best concessions? A lot of research has been done on all of these areas and you will directly benefit from it in that chapter to then, again, immediately apply and practice these concepts in the next negotiation case study, this time as a counsel in the area of international investment law, real estate and commodity rights. Then in the next chapter, we will deal with effective communication. What is it that the best negotiators do that makes them so effective? How do I get the other side to talk? How do I ask smart questions? What does my nonverbal language communicate? How do I really listen and show understanding? After this chapter, you will again have a challenging negotiation case where you negotiate a settlement agreement, this time in an international investment law context. And this time, if you want, with a recording to later assess your communication skills. And then we go back to give all these skills an effective framework for you to work from in any negotiation and talk about how to best prepare for an upcoming negotiation. 80% of the negotiation outcome is already decided before you hit the table. And it will show and I will show you how you prepare your goals, how you prepare your numbers, your power, your options. All that will be coming with the Negotiation Academy preparation sheet, and I'll show you how to use that best. Again, once we're done talking about how to go about that, you will have the chance to test this out on a real case with an extensive debrief so that you can see how to really go about that. And finally, another quite exciting part, the psychology and strategy aspects of negotiation. We like to all think that we're completely rational in our decisions. But in this part, I will show you how perception and how framing, how cognitive barriers and expectation management play a huge decisive part in your negotiation success. And I will, of course, help you to understand and use them. 